They are fish that can range from a, a tasty 30 pounder to something the size of a Volkswagen. You'll see spots where there's, you know, multiples like 14, 15, 20 Goliath groupers swimming around. The Goliath grouper population is getting out of hand. They were historically overfished. Fishing pressure really peaked in the 1980s and there was a very noted and dramatic decline in population numbers, especially in Florida. And so there was an emergency closure in 1990. They have responded quite encouragingly to the protective measures. Laws were enacted to protect the fish, which I think were good laws. And now 20, 30 years later, they definitely are, are nuisance fish. And what they end up doing is um, you know, for fishermen trying to bring a fish up, they often end up fighting a Goliath grouper who, who wants the same fish they have. They are opportunistic predators, so they do readily and often steal fish that are hooked and being reeled in by anglers. A lot of anglers are concerned that Goliath grouper are eating up all of the grouper and snapper species that we have that are important fishery species. And the reality of that is that Goliath grouper typically eat lower on the trophic level. Um, they, they, they do eat a lot of bait fish and crustaceans. They'll eat a lot of crabs. They don't naturally take snappers and groupers on their own. It's come to the time that we need to start thinking about how do we, how do we manage this? Um, right now, I think a lot of guys would like to see some sort of a lottery system like for alligators or moose or elk where you buy into a lottery, you're given a tag if your name's chosen and it allows you to go out and harvest one of these fish. The stock assessments that have been performed for Goliath Grouper have been inconclusive as far as total recovery of the population goes. And the data that we have definitely show evidence that the population is recovering, but to what level is still relatively inconclusive. So if there's ever going to be any sort of a limited take, it would need to be managed based on scientific evidence, and it would have to be monitored very carefully. You have an animal that once it invades um, can really increase in population numbers very rapidly. 